Right, hello everyone. I hope that you guys have had an awesome week. For those of you who have gone back to school, I hope that it was a great week this week and that you have managed to finally get into the rhythm of being off of holiday. So I hope that it was an awesome one. If you've had your birthday this past week or having your birthday this upcoming week, we wish you a very happy birthday. I hope that you had an awesome one, that you got to spend it with family and friends and that you were spoiled rotten. I uh, hope that God blesses you for the upcoming year as well. Let us open up with a word of prayer. Let us pray. And so, Heavenly Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord God, that you have created us in love, Lord God, that you have created us, Lord God, with a purpose, and that you have created us, Lord God, to be stewards of your great riches here in this world. We thank you, Lord God, that you continue to be with us, that you continue to bless us. And so as we come to hear your word, Lord God, we ask that you speak to us and that you reveal your word to us. Teach us, Lord God, who you are, who you have created us to be, and what you want from us. And so bless this time. In your name we pray, now and always. Amen. Awesome. We're going to get into our time of worship now. So get into your space, get into your comfort zone, and let us worship God together. Now this song is is more of a reflective song so use it as a prayer use the words as a prayer and just be reminded of the work that god does in your life and through you as well and offer yourself up for god to use you and so let's worship the lord our god together Such a 
Awesome. Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope that it was a great one and that you were blessed and were challenged to be a blessing to others as well. Okay, now let's get into our lesson for today. It is no question that at some point that whatever we do has an impact. It is no question that there is always some impact that takes place when we give to others, when we choose to give of ourselves, of our resources, of everything that we have to others. There is always some kind of impact. Sometimes it's an impact to us where we feel good about ourselves or we feel a bit more blessed. Sometimes it's an impact to others, those who have re been recipients of your gifts, so they are blessed by you. And that is the impact that you have in their lives. As Christians, we have been entrusted with so much by God. We have been entrusted with so much time, talents, abilities, gifts, resources, and most importantly, we have been entrusted with the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. And now, depending on how you use these things, they will have a varied impact on the world around you. So today we read a story that Jesus told as he was preparing his disciples on how to live in this world until he returns. And so Jesus tells them the story, and in the story, he tells them how to be good stewards of what he has entrusted with them. And so we read today from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 25, verse 14 to 30. That's Matthew, chapter 25, verse 14 to 30 in the New Testament, the first book of the New Testament. And it reads as follows, the parable of the talents. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To the one he gave five talents, and to the other two talents, and to another one only one talent, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received five talents went at once and put his money to work and gained five more. So also the one with two talents gained two more. But the man who had received one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received five talents bought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five talents. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, well done good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with two talents also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two talents. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one talent came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, You wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. Well then, you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers so that when I returned, I would, ha I would have received it back with interest. So take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who has ten bags. For whoever has will be given more and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them and throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Thanks be to God for his word. Right, so what is a talent? So the talent was the currency that they used in, the, in that time. And the talent was about gold that was worth 20 years of a common, worker, a common worker's wages. 
So that's how much the, the owner, the master, entrusted to the servants. The first and the servant, second servant, they put what was entrusted to them to work. They used it. They used it and invested it and put it to work so that it would increase. And they put it to good use. And they managed to gain more than what they had been given for the master. The third servant, however, we see, he, he just buried it. He just buried what he was given, keeping it hidden, not doing anything with it. And so the first two servants were being faithful in using what was given to them, in using what was entrusted to them. But the third was not faithful in this. And the potential that they had, these two servants, to increase the master's talents was used. And we see that. We have been given so much. We have been given so much. We have been given so much in this world to take care of and to be good stewards of. And if we are faithful managers, if we are faithful stewards, if we are faithful with what has been entrusted to us, putting to good use the things that God has given to us, we will be given greater responsibilities in the life to come. And so we should use the gifts, we should use the abilities, we should use the time, the talents, the resources that God has given us wisely and in love, productively, in order to produce abundant crop. And when we show our faithfulness in this, God will present to us more and more opportunities to use his gifts in this world. He will produce so much stuff from what we offer up to him, from what we use that he has given to us. And so we need to become faithful servants. We need to become faithful stewards so that what has been given to us will increase, that the fruit of our labor might increase for the kingdom of God. As Christians, we are stewards of the kingdom here and now. We are stewards of the kingdom here and now until our master returns. We are stewards of the message that he has entrusted to us. We are stewards of the good news that he has entrusted to us, the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. And so we have a responsibility as Christians. We have a responsibility, all of us, young and old alike, we have a responsibility to be faithful with what he has entrusted us with, to put it to good use, so that there will be a great harvest when the time comes. All that has been given to us belongs to God and comes from God. And so what is put to use, what is put to wise use, will produce abundant fruit. It will. We see that from the story. The guy who had five talents, he used it, and he used it wisely, and was able to multiply it 100 times. He was able to multiply it 100%, and he got double. And so God has given us so much. God has entrusted us with gifts. Not just so that we can increase it, but so that it might have an impact. So that it would have an impact on those around us, on us, on here, on the future. Not just in this life, but eternally as well. And so how you use the gifts that God has given you will have an impact, not just for you, not just so that you feel good, not that you feel like you've done something, but on those that you serve as well, on those that you use your gifts on. It will have an impact on those around you, and it will have an impact not just here and now on this world, but also in the future and in eternity. So how are you using what you have been given? How are you using what has been entrusted to you? What impact have you seen from using what God has given you? Your talents, your money, your resources, all of the things that God has given you. What impact have you seen God produce from using it wisely? What are you doing with what God has given you? Are you being like the third servant who just keeps it all hidden and buried 
and nobody sees it and you're not using it? Or are you being like the first two servants who use it to benefit not just themselves but for others and to benefit the master as well? And so use what God has given you well. Use it wisely and may it have a great impact, not just on you and for those around you as well. And not just in this time, but in the time to come as well. And so be good and faithful stewards and wait and hear for the master, our master, to say to you, well done, good and faithful steward. You have been faithful with this much. I will give you more responsibility. I will give you much, much more. And so to God be the glory. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Lord, we thank you that you have blessed us with so much in this world. We thank you, Lord God, that you have given us so much time in this world, that you have given us so many talents, that you have given us so many abilities, Lord God, so many gifts. We thank you that you have blessed us with so many resources. And most importantly, Lord, we thank you that you have given us your gospel message. And so help us, Lord God, to use all these things that you have gifted us to the glory of your name. Help us, Lord God, to use them wisely, in love, in faithfulness. Help us, Lord God, to be faithful and good stewards who use what you have given us to make an impact in the world around us. Help us to use it to make an impact not just for here and now, but for the future and for eternity. And so guide us, Lord God, give us your wisdom as we continue to live in this world as we continue to use the things that you have given us. Continue to bless us, Lord God. Continue to give us your strength. Continue to hear our prayers and continue to answer them. May you be with us this week. May you be with our families, with our friends and continue to show us your grace, your love and your mercy. Now and always. Amen. Awesome. Thank you guys for joining me this week. I hope that you will join me again next week. A reminder that we do have Friday Night Youth every Friday from 6 to 9 p.m. and Teen Church every Sunday for, for the 9 a.m. service and the 11 a.m. service in person. And so we'll see you then. Have an awesome one. Cheers.